concerns. I got somewhere. <laughs> I got something. Well, it's <laughs> State your name. Grand Valley on Fire Chief of City Lake Park, 53 and 9, the West Circle. Uh, we noticed on the uh, November 20th when we had Firefighter Appreciation Day, we had the floor at the Civic Center. Uh, there were some weak spots, low spots in it. Me and Jeff uh, will take the test to is, when we work out the time, get up there and look and see exactly what's wrong. We'll report back to council in January. Uh, that is a safety issue. If it you know, looks completely black, we don't know what's like what's wrong, but we'd like to get up there and see what exactly the damage is and uh, we'll report back to council. Where, where's the site? The it's city city center. Center. Yeah, yeah. And it's where? Walk out of the uh, dining room into the kitchen right there. The depth's down. And you're going where? We're going to go underneath and see if we can figure out where you're going underneath. If I can get a burger, man. I'll do it. I would, I would uh, say, don't listen, I'd watch it. Because we see <laughs> the cabinets are separated from the wall. Yes. And the wall separated yeah. from the ceiling. So we really need to get there and see what the damage is. We may have to shut it down. You know, hopefully, we'll come to that. But I mean, it's, you know, we need, we we need, need, need to reinforce that or fix, right. fix that because it's becoming a real problem. Okay. Uh, Council's okay with uh, David Slide over there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Be safe, check this fire. Citizens' concerns. State your name, your address. Well, I'm not a citizen, but. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Brown, 5309, Mimosa Circle. Um, David's my husband, and I just want to say this. He loves the fire department, always has. He dedicates as much time as he can. Um, you guys tonight have appointed him as fire marshal as well. I don't know if you're aware that he is off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. They changed his schedule at work. He's off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday mornings, and then goes to work from 1230 to 830 at night. He's working his days off to do the fire inspections for the city at no charge. He is down here every Thursday as soon as he gets off work. Um, anytime he, on the weekends, whenever he needs to come in, the fire marshal school or the inspector school that he's going to, he's taking his personal week's vacation to go to that. And I just don't know if you guys realize how much time and dedication he puts in without pay. If he did not do these inspections and the city was required to do them, because the county is no longer doing them, you would have to pay somebody to do that. So I'm just, I'm just stating that just as a concern because the time that he's spending with you is time away from me and my family. <clears throat> so, and he does it because he wants to do it and because he loves it. Thank you. That's it. Appreciate it. You got, you got a good morning. <laughs> yeah, she cares about it. Okay, so since concerns is still open, Mr. Mayor, can I get some direction from the council? We have a event that occurs in our city. My understanding is an individual will come in front of the council, ask for explain the said event, and then it's turned over to the city for approval. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Need to notify the council that there's an event this Saturday night, unbeknownst to us, that's going to start from Lake Dogs, which will be golf carts for the parade. I want to see if the council is aware of any of this happening. Um, I have heard about this. I when, saw I, when I was I was uh, a little taken back on that. On that. Um, we need to get the word out that you can't just put golf carts out on the street because, you know, there has to be um, preparations made, safety concerns. So, well, the reason I bring it up, as you well know, it took a lot of letters and emails going back and forth to the, to the Department of Transportation to get them to approve our parade, which finally came through. In addition, another three hours spent with somebody with DOT prior to that happening. In the past, it wasn't, it wasn't gone through. And DOT, the Department of Transportation, is now holding us to a higher standard, and they have to have their blessing. With this going on, uh, with the council's permission, I'll be going down to the owner of that establishment and relaying it to them with your blessing and your permission that after this event, any said events will be cleared through you. 
Uh, will you be able to effectively control the traffic situation? This present time, I do not know, sir. Um, I like the idea. I think it's a good community service idea. But basically, I found out because of you know wonderful people in the, in the city and I drove by and they were erecting a sign, which is posted out there for it. It starts at 5 o'clock. My understanding is Saturday night, 5 o'clock, people will rally at this location and then go down to the subdivision that's outside the city limits and drive around. Our concern is how they're going to get there, and what was explained is maybe Lowndes County will help. Well, nobody from Lowndes County has contacted my office, and obviously nobody's contacted the city council. What I'm concerned of is people running around drunk on golf carts. Uh, well, we've had, we've had some problems with that. Dan, thank you for your, echoing your sentiment. But with your permission, as diplomatic as I can be at this particular <coughs> time, I will inform the owner of the business that should any other event occur, such as the barbecue cook-off, which the council didn't have aware of, um, would help out if I have your blessing, please. Um, I, I believe it's the uh, wish of the council. Council, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but all events in the city that um, require, that will have a lot of people congregating in one area should be going through the city. Concerns. It, it really uh, worries me that they're going to be having a, a parade of golf carts. And which was the subdivision they go into? Uh, they went right across from the post office. Francis Lake. Frank so they go. So they go. Francis Lake. So they're going. Uh, they're going to stay on one side of the street. They're going no against knowledge. traffic. No knowledge whatsoever, sir. Uh, you know, no knowledge. Not Blake Boulevard. Yes, Penn Boulevard. But uh, we're, we're willing to call the fire okay. department out for any accidents, that <laughs> which will help him on his call ratio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you check and see if they have a charge on them? Well, the county county has some here. Purdy County has some involved concerning the right. use of those go kart. Can you check and see if they have even checked with them? It's a yeah. golf cart community over in that, that's Francis Lake. So, you know. And it's a state and federal home roadway. Which right, but there's a sign that says uh, Donald Trump Cross out crossing only. Crossing, crossing, crossing only. Not driving on. <clears throat> well, I don't, I'm really not trying to make waves, but I just, I would really prefer with the law enforcement standard and also with respect to the council that if somebody has an event, other than this is the way we've always done it, that if you're notified. And we'll concur whatever the blessings of the council is. Council, what are your votes for you? Yes. license with, through Tabitha's office. So when, <coughs> at that particular time, could you present with the business license or at that, when they present their check, say, say uh, just to let you know if you plan to have any events um, in the city limits that you need to let the city know, blah, 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 contact, yeah. shoot free at this number. And then, then, then you know for a year's time that any entity that has a business license is getting that information. Um, to, to echo Ms. Wilbur's great suggestion, if we made it part of our business packet, they could sign mm -hmm. off on it, so oh, yeah, they're absolutely. aware of liabilities removed. I was kind of feel about that. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Thank Wilbur. You. Back for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there tonight. He's driving. Mark <laughs> 17. <laughs> no, um, thank you very much for your time. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a really <laughs> great suggestion. Um, I'm still concerned, though, about traffic safety on Lakes Boulevard with this uh, parade. Uh, you can check and see if the county is going to escort them. The county is going to escort them? Will the county escort them? 
Sir, I'm not aware. My office hadn't been contacted by the county. <coughs> my understanding of what happens in the city. Is Have they done this before? Yeah. It's, it's been done yeah. in the housing laid out before. From what I understand, the county usually. Uh, okay. Escorts and they usually have representatives there, but I don't know. You know, it may change. Mm -hmm. Who's on the uh, uh, call at that, that time? In reference, sir. Please, in reference to what? Um, on Saturday evening will be probably Officer Bones. Okay. And myself now, sir. Make sure that uh, no one gets. Cut. And the fire chief, sir. Okay. And Dumo will be also. <laughs> 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 Just in case we have a water leak, sir. I think Dumo disagrees with you. <laughs> I think Dumo's ready to go to right. sleep. Any more mm -hmm. citizens' concerns? Right there, can I add one thing to that? Sure. Oh, we got an event back at work that all our tenants had to fill out. They go hold an mm -hmm. event on our property. And maybe that's something that I can bring a copy to the council. Although it might not pertain to what for the city, but it would give you a template to go by to draft something mm -hmm. like you fill out. It either lists the event, how many people's going to be there. And it's a hold bring... harmless. And the nice yeah, thing about that packet, it's a hold harmless, oh, yeah. which is a nice thing too, that it, it keeps you out of that liability. Right, that's good. That's good. Well, we welcome the events. And right. uh, you might want to have that safety meeting on Friday. <coughs> and let's just talk about that. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Um, all right, this is good. Really good, good suggestions, good comments tonight. I appreciate that. Any more citizens concerned? Okay, we're going to close out that portion of citizen concerns. We're